I'm Abby. And I'm Libby. And we are the Summer Sisters. And we live and travel full time in our converted RV. We started thinking about traveling full time because our grandparents traveled for 15 or 20 years. They took us on trips with them in the summer. Our parents had us camping all the time when we were growing up. That's how we did family vacations was in a little pop-up camper. It was uh, just a joke for us for a long time. Like, oh, we could do this. We could be like grandma and grandpa. And then all of a sudden one day we're like, oh, the stars have aligned. Like we both have remote jobs. We could maybe make this work. It's not a joke anymore. So we made the to-do list. We started punching things off, getting it done. And then all of yeah. a sudden we were having a camper living on the road. So we travel in a 27 foot travel trailer. It is a Jayco J Feather and we haul it with a Ford F-150. We looked at like bus, van, RV, travel trailers. And since we both work still full time, we thought a travel trailer would be great because we could park it and then have a separate vehicle to go and adventure. And we also were working on a budget. We definitely didn't want to throw a lot of cash at something. We bought our camper for 6,000. We probably put in another four to six just just on updates and renovations. The majority of our money actually went into our tow vehicle. So <laughs> total, we were able to get up and running for under 30,000, which felt like a really great number for us. So we actually are sisters. A lot of people don't think we actually are. Yeah. We have a great relationship, but like traveling together has really pushed our communication abilities, pushed like what we're good at and what we're bad at. And at both at, of us being single too, like a lot of areas of growth that neither one of us knew we needed and traveling has taught us that. Well, I think one of the biggest questions we get is just about like being female travelers, if we feel safe on the road, we feel pretty confident in what we're doing. There's always something to learn, but I think that's the same for everyone. So we do our research, we dig in, and we learn whatever we have to to get the job done. So we're just out here to prove to people that women can do anything, you know, and um, learn anything that they want to. Okay, this is our Jayco J Feather 2005. 27 foot travel trailer. The important things under here is two propane tanks. This is our battery. When we're at a campground, we don't even need to use our battery power. We just plug in shore power. If we are out boondocking, we have solar panels and they just connect right into this battery here. We have a black tank that holds all of our gross stuff. It's like 30 gallons and our gray tank that holds like sink water. It's also 30 gallons. And this is a mini slide because it's really short. So it just gives us a little bit of extra room inside. This holds our solar panels and this Dutch oven actually was our grandparents. They used it when they traveled for all those years. So that is the piece of them that we carry with us. Then we have another storage bay over here. This is where we keep more like everyday use stuff. A good toolbox, a drill, everybody needs a drill. And then just like extra supplies that you don't really have space for inside. We always keep a drill um, because our camper does come with these stabilizers down here and they just kind of keep the camper from rocking. Just stick it right in there and it lowers those stabilizers or raises them up when we're ready to go. So our camper's old school. It came with a manual awning. Pretty easy to put up. One person can do on their own. And then we just carry outdoor indoor outdoor lights that we put up just to set a little ambiance and give us outdoor light. So this is our outdoor shower, which when we got it, we thought that's crazy. We'll never use it, but we do use it all the time. It's good if you've like been out tide pooling or in the sand and need to wash your feet off. We call this our garage um, in our truck because it just keeps the things we can't keep elsewhere. So we travel with bikes. Um, we also travel with extra gas cans because you never know when you're gonna run out of gas. So we have a Generac 3500 generator. We can use it. It'll power our whole camper when we're boondocking. We carry nine gallons of water cans back there. We have a um, inflatable kayak. This is just extra storage space. So this is kind of what we consider our tiny entry. We just did like a gallery wall here. So we try to think through like what we want to see every day. So places that we really enjoyed. And then of course over here, just like our everyday items that we can grab and quickly like walk out of the door with. So like rain jackets, keys. So again, we like trying to pare down like what's super important to us, have it at the door so we can grab it and go. So we have to get really like smart with how we store things. We don't have a lot of stuff, but we also don't have like a ton of storage space. So we have these handy dandy like shoe organizers. They're great to just hide on inside of cabinet doors and be able to stuff things in here. We have like flashlights, bug spray, all of the dog bones and toys, which are so important, and then dog food. And we do have a bathroom. It is tiny, but it is usable. So we have everything that a bathroom has in it. We have a toilet, we have a bathtub slash shower. We have a closet with 
with all of our hanging clothes and then we have a sink and a mirror. We did have some, some major repairs that we had to do in the bathroom. The owners had a previous leak in the ceiling. So we ended up taking off this wall, but you can see it's kind of curved. Um, so it was a little bit challenging. So we just kind of wanted to make it feel like thrifty and old school. So we ended up getting these wood slats. We just laid the wood slats, painted it pink because it's my favorite color. I think it kind of looks like the inside of what you would imagine like a boat bathroom to look like. This little guy is actually um, a pot for a plant. And with the help of our dad, um, we were able to just pop it down into the butcher block countertops and of course like seal it up, add a faucet, drill a hole for the drain. Basically we were just limited on like what RV sinks we could use. So we just kind of got creative about another source that we could use to make a sink out of. Libby and I actually didn't cook a whole lot before we moved into the camper, um, but we are cooking a lot now and we are learning to do it in a tiny kitchen. But this is our kitchen. Again, we have all the same things that a house has. We have a microwave, we have a stove top, we have an oven and these all run off of gas. And then we have this double sink, which we love. We can keep the dirty dishes over here and still have another one to use. We we have Tupperware and trays for like silverware and for mugs and then of course like our everyday spices things on here easily accessible and then we made all these to where when we're packing up and we're traveling we don't have to move them so they're all magneted in here another thing that is really important to us is handmade items if we are in a new place we want to buy art and support local artists so we do have a lot of art in here so we did hand paint this wallpaper per se I guess back here which we really love it's one of our favorite things in the camper pretty much anywhere we visit we try to find like a local flower farm and always have fresh flowers um, that's something that honestly just is really important to me it brightens my day makes a space feel fresher I do not like covering windows I love um, the natural light I want to see the green all the time but we did have to have something up at night so we actually just bought some curtains um, and then cut them down we got some leather straps and some wood dowel rods so all we had to do is pop these and then just let them down every night and then roll them back up in the morning over here we have more of like our pantry space and our refrigerator. We use a ton of these shoe racks just to keep little things in and it's so great. We can see everything, we can grab it easily. And then pots and pans, wine, canned goods. One of the funnest games we play is go grocery shopping and then play Tetris to get all of your groceries in a tiny camper fridge. It runs off propane or electricity. So if we are boondocking and we do not have shore power or electrical hookup, we can just switch this over to our propane tanks. We just get what we can in here right now. It's not super full, no game of Tetris needed. And we do also have a freezer. When we um, bought our camper, there was what I like to call potato couches in here. It's like big fluffy red couch, which is super cool for some people, but that was not really what we were going for. So we did take the couch out and we just bought this little leather sofa that fit, like it literally fit in the slide so perfectly. So this is kind of where we keep our shoes. These are our in season shoes. We keep them under the couch, just easy baskets um, that we, can slide in and out. We have more pantry storage. So typically I try to keep our dry good things up here. We use a ton of bins to just keep things organized and put away and easily accessible. <laughs> Electronic equipment. Um, like I said, we cook, so we eat dinner here and then we both work full time. So this becomes our desk during the daytime. We do have storage underneath our booth seats, which is really great. So we keep a lot of our art supplies under this one. And then under that one, we keep extra bedding for guests. Up here, this is internet and Wi-Fi. We love music and we are from Louisiana. So we have a ton of like jazz records and we really wanted to incorporate that in the, in the camper and make sure that that was still like a part of our everyday life. So we do have a record player in here and it is magneted down. So like when we're traveling, this sucker it like stays in place it doesn't move and of course you just like pop the top and throw a record on so this space basically originally had a queen bed and two closets so that was one of the first things I did was rip the bed out and then um, our dad helped us build up these platform beds so under here we basically have them on a lift 
this is our second closet. So we keep all of our everyday clothes in here. Some other things that we, you know, don't have to get to as often. We're huge like movie and film fanatics. Thoughtfully didn't put a TV in here, but we did put this curtain in here. So we just kind of draw the curtain. The projector hooks up to our iPads, our phones, our computers, and then we're able to just project the movie onto the curtain and we can watch it from our beds or we can watch it from the living area. Thanks so much guys for joining us on our tour. We are so glad to have you. Hopefully this will inspire you to get out and live your dreams and travel if you want to. If you want to see more of our travels, you can find us on Instagram at somewhere underscore sisters. Bye.